Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Private and even public charter schools like this one are able to set their own masking policies regardless of what local school boards do. The Department of Education is expected to adopt a rule Friday allowing for public school students to obtain private school scholarships if their public school requires masks. Our students and our teachers were in face shields last year. At Tallahassee Classical School, regular cleaning and air filtration will be present this year, but masks will be optional. We want to be sure to give parents the option, and we want to err on the side of liberty and free will. Dr. Alan Chen, a pediatrician radiologist and board member at the school, came to the same conclusion as the governor on the effectiveness of masks in schools. There's been no difference between schools with mask mandates and no mask mandates. The expected Department of Education rule appears it will fall short of outright banning face mask mandates in schools, but the Department of Health is also expected to announce an emergency rule of its own on face mask mandates. The Florida School Boards Association tells us indications are the Department of Health will likely require any school mask mandate to include an option for parents to opt out. The governor's possible 2022 opponent continues to call for local control. Every community is different, and the local communities and school boards should have the power to make the right decisions for their own communities. The governor's office has indicated the rules from both the Department of Health and Education will be finalized by week's end, ahead of the first day of school for many districts in the state. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.